Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you may on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. Hopefully I'm on the Remy's path. I'm trying to keep it to that one, but anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chen, you are up. Let's go. Alright, <clears throat> picking up with Aideen. I like her, she's so cute. How about a... How about a potential Mr. or Mrs. Keegan, then? Are you looking to date anyone? Maybe. Come on, tell me! Okay, there's someone. It's a shame you can't be with them now, then. Or are you talking about someone you met here? Maybe. Oh my! Would it happen to be someone I know? Well, who is it? I'm not sure how many questions that was, but I'm but I'm sure it's not your turn anymore. Are we even still playing this game? Just having fun. You and me both. You know, why don't we make this a little more interesting while we're at it? What do you suggest? Truth or dare? What's that? We continue asking questions, but if one of us doesn't want to answer the question, we have to do something the other person tells us to. I don't even know what kind of dare I would make you do. It could be something that would make me uncomfortable, or something you'd like to see me do. Anything? Well, keep in mind that revenge might be coming quicker than you think, so don't ask someone for anything you won't you wouldn't do yourself. Got it, so who's first? You asked the last few questions, so it's only fair if I start. Alright. As far as your butt oh my god. That's the most embarrassing thing has ever happened. What is your mascara? most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you. Uh, I don't really keep secrets. It's not a real answer. But it's the truth. You know, you aren't very good at this game. Hey, it's my first time. Don't worry about it. Since it's my turn now, what is your greatest wish? Be the very best like no one ever was. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh my god. That seems to be a very personal wish, Keegan. Okay, my turn. Are you scared of dying? What do you think your biggest physical flaw are you scared of dying? No, absolutely not. Why not? Well, I do have some ideas of what might happen afterwards, but even if I think... But even if even if what I think isn't true, I'm not afraid of the unknown. I'm sort of, uh... I'm sort of... It's, I'm sort of in some sort of twisted way, I'm actually kind of curious to find out what it'll be like when it's all over. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh god, what the fuck? It's so psychopathic. I see. If you knew the world was about to end, what would you do? Go out to the full of the last moments, you ask goodbyes, hope for the best. Dead side and watch it all unfold before my eyes, hide in a bunker deep underground. <laughs> Sing the last goodbyes and hope for the best. Um, enjoy life to the fullest of the last moment. Going out with a bank. Let's see, okay. An optimist until the very end. I like that. Alright, now would you do it? What's your biggest regret? Oh my. Hmm. I think it might be time for a dare now. Alright. Bite into a lemon? Oh, you evil son of a bitch! Oh my god. Uh, remove your headgear. Jesus Christ. Do you hate her? Oh my god. Remove your headgear. Just that? That's not very hard. I thought I'd go easy on you since it's your first time and all. I see. <laughs> Aw, cutie. There. Satisfied? Definitely. You got a Dean to remove her headgear. Just rope <laughs> All right, so from those who so those you have met so far, who is the one you fancy most? I think I'll take a dare for this one. Oh, finally. Hmm, what am I going to have you do? Whatever you like. No, honestly, I have no idea. Take your time. All right, let me think for a minute. Oh, looks like it's getting late. Wait, what time is it? Whoops, seems like I've been here longer than I thought. I probably should be going now. Seems like the rain has stopped too. Yeah, that's great. Anyways, if you want to invite me over again, why don't you give my... Why don't I give you... Why don't you give me... Why don't... 
Why don't I give you my personal number and we can just skip the part where you order food and make me come by? But I like the food. Or maybe I'll get your number instead. Since you ordered from us, I already have it anyway. I'm not sure what to say to that. <laughs> take Just take it as a compliment. Bye! I like Aideen. She was gone as quickly as she appeared. But given her enthusiasm, I doubted that that was the last time I would hear from her. Yeah, I like Aideen. I'm a girl. Oh, God. Oh, God. Duty. Chapter 2. Oh, this is kind of... Oh, okay. Kind of, a little bit reminds me of Repeat, the way they break down the chapters. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a person standing there. Probably, I wonder if that was Reza. Could be Keegan. Another day, another morning. I woke from dreams filled with fire and smoke. The sun shining through the window gave me a comforting feeling of familiarity, despite the portal in the distance reminding me of my purpose here. I looked towards the horizon, a view undisturbed by dividing walls. The light of the morning sun was painting the sky with golden hues, a view that had become a rarity back home. It evoked a feeling of freedom and openness that was almost scary to me. When I got ready for the day, my thoughts strayed to the people I knew back home. I couldn't help but wonder how they were doing. But I had greater things to worry about at the moment, like Reza, murders and generators. How much danger was I really in? How much danger was I in, really? Oh. Ah. Hey, Keegan. Hey, Chief. More bad news? Not quite. Unless you count Reza still missing his bad news. That's kind of why I'm here. Well, what is it? Just some good old-fashioned police work, and we're counting on your help. Again. Sure, send me up. Hmm. <laughs> Great. We obtained a list of places Reza visited in the days before he vanished. We'll check those out. Maybe find a lead. And he might help us understand his motivations or give us some context to his actions. I can certainly try. I'm sure you'll do a great job. That's reassuring. Are you ready to go? Sure, uh, let's go. There's a couple of places we can check out. Let's see where the first... Let's see where we should go first. While Bryce focused on his list, I saw someone approaching me out of the corner of my eye. A closer look revealed that it was Sebastian, waving his arm in an attempt to get our attention as he ran towards us, his face grave. There you are, Chief! I was looking for you! What are you doing here? Don't tell me there's another dead person. Sorry, Chief, there is! Damn, I guess it's gonna be one of those days. Yeah, looks that way. Someone else can take care of that today, though. We've got other plans. You'll need to sign off on a few things at least. I know, I know. We'll go to the crime scene, sign a few forms, and a few forms, and then we're out. Oh my god. When we arrived at the scene, I saw the poor victim next to one of the houses. The, ob the obligatory sheet that was draped over and provided a modicum of discretion, but did nothing to hide the crime that had occurred. Alright, give me the story. It's an interesting one, for sure. Uh, the wounds match those of the last victim, so a similar, if not identical, murder weapon is likely. The vic- the victim? A maintenance person for this area, and the electricity is out. The power goes out, maintenance guy shows up and is killed before he can fix the problem. At least that's my theory. So the power for the whole block is still out. That is correct. We should get that fixed as soon as possible. We don't need civilians showing up around here complaining about sitting in the dark. A good point. Bryce's snout wrinkled with distaste as he glanced over Sebastian's shoulder. Damn, not again. What is it? What are you doing here, Maverick? Second victim, huh? This is an official investigation, so you better not cross that police line. Shunned by my own colleagues. This is ridiculous. You know how it is. Rules are rules. And without rules, murders like this one would be allowed to happen and go unpunished. Have your fun without me, then. <laughs> he goes over that side and comes back through that side. <laughs> what do you think he wanted here, Chief? That's, that one's easy. To do his own investigation, just like he said he would. I shouldn't be surprised he showed up, but I guess we're lucky we arrived before he did. I agree. We better check out that power outage now. Of course. I think the door to the maintenance room is right around here. Hmm. You got your flashlight, Seb? Always, Chief. You should go first, then. I don't have my stuff here. 
Besides, putting on that head mount is such a hassle. I remember, you complain about that every time it comes up. Oh. There. Uh, there, that should do the trick. Oh. You just stay behind me, Keegan, alright? Okay. God, I hate stairs. Especially those made for smaller dragons like you. Uh, trust me, having it the other way around isn't too great either. I don't mind stairs. Say nothing. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of when we found the uh, uh, that underground base, or whatever it was. Remember, Chief? How could I not? It wasn't that long ago. Underground base? Yeah, the portal wasn't near that wasn't the only piece of ancient technology we found. It was about there's about also this whole lab near it. it seemed to have some high tech stuff in there. At least that place didn't have as many stairs. Wait, so you not so you not only found the portal, but a whole facility along with it? Yes, but we're not sure how much the two are actually related. We spent all that time studying the portal and barely got anywhere with it. The stuff is just beyond what we know. Here we are. Oh. Very high production values in this. Hmm, very creepy. So, what exactly are we looking for? Whatever's causing the power outage. If we don't find the cause, we should at least be able to get the backup running. This is creepy looking. Looks like the generator is gone. Mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the stillness of the room. I looked above the toward the source of the noise as it grew louder, and then in the next instant I was pushed sideways and fell to the ground, just barely avoiding the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered into countless pieces alongside me. Keegan, are you alright? The next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. Oh, hello there, troublemaker. Oh my god. The figure crouched down next to me, its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. Be careful, Keegan. Then the figure dashed towards the stairs. Where are you going? That, that's not me! Don't move! He's going up the stairs! I'm on it! Ow! I didn't see that chair coming! I can't see a damn thing in here! Here, Chief! I hate these stupid stairs. You're blocking the way. Just go around me. There's no room. You're as wide as the stairs are. I can't help it. Damn it, we'll never catch him now. Hmm. Oh my. By the time we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be seen, was nowhere to be found. We've got a long search ahead of us, and with a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have, to t we have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller when we wait for the team to arrive. But what even happened down there? Right. Keegan, tell us everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard a noise and looked up and the light fixture came down. Then someone pushed me. You mean Reza? I don't think it was Reza. Didn't you see him? Whoever it was, he was wearing a mask. And bloody well can't be someone else, so let's not kid ourselves here. Why would he wear that whole getup, though? Um, good point. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your earlier theory about what happened was pretty sound. Sebastian. That's pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that and add the bit about the generator being stolen. So now the question is, who has a motive for stealing a generator? Reza. Right. Who else would need to steal a generator when those who live here could either buy or even simply request one? Not to mention Reza was the one who arranged the diplomatic trade for the generators in the first place. I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Of 
Why would he have remained here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got here, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminals returned to the crime scene. For this kind of crime, I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offense, but ever since you two humans arrived, there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. Hmm. Maybe this is all a huge misunderstanding and you just need someone to talk to him. Let's put this into perspective. We found two corpses so far. Rez is the prime suspect, and you think all he needs is someone to talk to him? Sorry, but I'll be going with a no on that one. Uh, let's see. Damn it. Ah, fine, whatever. Uh, maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. Agreed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have the list of places and we're, we're going to check out, remember? We can't go now. The search takes priority. Of course, we'll still check out those places after we're done here, but if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You can, you can even find a lead for us. Who knows? Sure thing. Great. Here's the list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places, but if anything happens, call me and I'll check up on you later. Wait a minute, you mean I'm going all by myself? All of us are go All of us are going to be busy with the search. We can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault, and he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go alone. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Oh, the mystery deepens, ladies and gents. I don't think that was Reza. I don't think Reza would be wearing a disguise because he's one of only two people here. Everyone would know it was him. <laughs> anyway. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye